Agora teremos Monete Russo da Austrália. Rondada, flick-flack para o cavalo e uma pirueta e meia na saída. Fez um... Também no Campeonato Mundial de 2003, a Monete Russo. Saltou muito bem. Now the young star for the Australian side. This is Russo, floor exercise. And Scott, we have to mention here that the rules are different in the finals. Three compete and three scores count. There's no longer the safety net of that throwaway score. It is a pressure cooker out here, especially for young athletes like Russo. Monet Russo, the youngster on the team. You'll see Alana Slater, who's the veteran. There was a disappointment for Australia at the Olympic Games in Sydney. They thought they could be top three, at least make the team final. They wound up seventh, right out of the medals. National head coach Peggy Liddick is very high on this athlete. And that's strong praise coming from someone who coached the most decorated American athlete, Shannon Miller. She's done a great job in preparing this team. The Australians have a nice mixture of new young talent and some veterans on the team like Alana Slater. Beautiful job there on the two and a half twist. Difficulties high, we're seeing some big tumbling from her, but you can still tell that she is a young, inexperienced gymnast. We're not seeing the presentation throughout the routine that we're going to see more of from the Atlanta Slaters. Monet Russo of Australia. No corpo do cavalo. E aí já temos a Monete Russo nas, nas paralelas, já iniciou sua prova. A ginasta tem que passar de uma barra para outra três vezes, é uma das exigências dessa prova. Tem que realizar elementos de voo. Aí a Manete Russo está fazendo com uma técnica muito boa, já realizou a saída de duplo mortal. Para... crazy American lady who's come down and uprooted their whole program. And Monette jumps up onto that beam at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, her time. Peggy Liddick says, beautiful laid out somersault. Gorgeous. Humbles on the balance beam. Peggy Liddick, the head of the Australian team, says that their selection criteria weighs heavily. They look at the athlete's ability to deal with the time change and the travel because they can't go anywhere in the sport of gymnastics without a major trip. Yeah, she says you can't be wimpy when it comes to traveling and then having to perform the next day. That's right, the Australians had their home game. Yeah. <laughs> they sure did. You know what, in 12 weeks from January through till April, this young lady has five major international meets. Peggy believes heavily in sending her athletes out there on the road getting the experience. She says that Monette needs a lot of experience still. Five meets and about three frequent flyer airline tickets. <laughs> but it was a big deal getting an invitation. Mm -hmm. Once again, Peggy said that this is the A-list party, the American Cup. It's like getting an invitation to Spago after the Oscars. Sounds good. Nice job.